The general workflow in our assigned affiliate starts when the client or patient made a transaction with the receptionist on duty. Upon receiving the request form, clients are instructed to wait in the phlebotomy area for blood extraction. Keep in mind that proper patient identification is very crucial. After specimen collection is a specimen accessioning. It is done through check-in and barcoding of patient's information on the laboratory information system. A unique barcode assigned to each tube is essential for labeling and tracking of samples. It contributes a great advantage compared to manual entering of information and it also reduces clerical errors. Next in line, is the dissemination of blood samples to each corresponding sections. In performing the analytical phase, inspect both request form and patient sample if both information coincides. The Beckman Coulter DXH 560 hematology analyzer was used to test for a complete blood count. It follows the principle of flow cytometry with proprietary gating that delivers a more accurate differentials, and it preserves effective clinical sensitivity. According to the laboratory protocols, before starting the shift, the medic on duty must perform daily check as their quality control. The EDTA tube must be checked first for the presence of a clot and inverted for a time. The testing can be made individually or by batch. The NCAP sample will be fed through the probe and the machine now starts to analyze the sample. A couple of minutes is enough for the analyzer to release the result. Since this analyzer is not connected to the laboratory information system, manual writing of CBC test results is done. Before encoding of results to the laboratory information system portal, always verify if patient information matches that of the information reflected on the portal. To ensure the validity of test results, a delta check is executed. This is only if applicable. This will alert the medic on duty on possible discrepancies occur. The last phase of the testing process is the evaluation, printing, and releasing of results. Manual lagging of patient's name and tests performed on different ward folders is completed for laboratory document purposes. 